testing, testing, one, two, 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 two. Okay. I just did a chart on gold versus silver ratio. And I just want to outline the importance of using time frames. So right here's the daily chart. I got my MACD at the bottom. I got the 50 day moving average right here, flush at 200. I got my volume defined profiling. So right now, there's a lot of clues. So you look on the daily chart. Okay, what I got on this time frame? I got wicks, refusals, refusals, lower highs. Right now, just below that 50-day moving average. And right on the... Do, 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 right below the last volume defined node support. Then there's a vacuum. Woo! Just as it went... Up fast right here, didn't have time to generate a lot of volume on the way down. We should be going fast all the way down to back to 72. What else is supporting this? MACD cross, MACD cross, every time refuse, and now the wires are actually going into negative territory. So you look at that, you say uber bearish, gold silver ratio. So let's zoom out, let's go to the one week. And then on the one week, the candles, they still look super bearish. I'll put a, let's say, a the classic 30-week moving average on the uh, weekly chart, Stan Weinstein style. Heading downwards, pulling back up, huge weekly candled um, refusal, buyers, sellers coming in, pushing the price down, and then lower highs on the way down. And right here, we're below, even below, here's the volume defined support, uh, now resistance. We're below it and we're actually enacted in the volume to find the vacuum all the way back down. Same type of target, 72 on the weekly chart. The only thing you see here, these MECD wires showing that you did a huge drop. And now you'd be tempted to say, oh, but look, Pat, uh, they're already crossing. They're going upwards. They are on the weekly chart, but you have to consider the total weight of evidence. So we know on the daily chart that there's price action here that's going to try to drive these wires back down because you have that small momentum building up on the daily chart. And this is the weekly, but you can't stop there. Instead of like, you don't want to be paralyzed by the analysis. You want to go higher. So let's go on the two week chart. And right away, you see all that bullishness on the two week chart. Uh, custom chart is gone. Let's put the... 15 week moving average dropping it's even more bearish huge white candle but look at that wick above sellers coming in bam all these wicks getting sold into that is the two week chart guys and where are we now we're oh, we're already enacted in the volume defined slide and we actually have on the two week chart we have some volume we have some support defined right here that we didn't see see we had that uh volume defined support all the way down to 70 71 but on the two week chart you see that there's hidden volume defined support right there every time frame has its own support resistance uh, areas definitions and they're always valid and the higher the time frame you are the more valid they have weight so you might not see this uh, 76 uh, bounce uh, volume defined support on the daily chart or the weekly chart and then you're bouncing off 76 say why why am i bouncing off 76 well on some higher time frame you have some volume uh, you have some defined support which is actually making you bounce back up so even here you see the macd wires are in bears they're starting to climb back upwards but let's go one more step let's go to the monthly chart so we have the daily chart starting to show that we're heading back bearish you have the, okay, and I like using the monthly chart when you're moving average, angling downwards. And on the monthly chart, you see that the the the, the turn, the bearish turn had, has just started on the MACD wire cross. Now they're heading into negative territory, just like on the daily. And there's no, these red bars, they keep climbing down and down into bearish territory. So all that noise, those two-week charts, one-week charts, it's noise within this month, these monthly candles. And on the daily chart, you're getting signals that the weekly that might ripple over to the weekly charts, 
showing that they might be ending their their bullish um, cycle within this monthly defined bearish cycle, which is a prevailing trend. Prevailing trend controls everything, and then you look at the time frames and try to understand which one might create a ripple into the other ones. So we're having it. The daily charts telling me that we have a chance of having a ripple effect, and when we start seeing the weekly charts, uh, MACD starting to turn back downwards and getting another red bar, then this could cascade down all the way to these uh, targets. Even here on the monthly chart, there's volume defined support at 73. So 73 could be a very strong target. We could sink through it until on the, the daily chart, until we hit the daily charts uh, support, volume defined support, which I think is at 72. And then bounce off that, it could be a wick. So uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Use at multiple time frames. They all have different meanings and try to understand what they mean in relation to one another, guys. All right. Thanks for watching.